Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, brothers and sisters, welcome, welcome. I hope that you all have had a wonderful week, right? And that today is going well for you. I thank you all for coming to hear the word of the Lord. There is a warning that the Lord wants me to release to you today, okay? So over the past few weeks, I started having visions and certain experiences that revealed to me that there are attacks on marriages in this hour. And just this past week, these utterances were confirmed by the Holy Spirit. Now, of course, we all know people of God as a body of Christ, we are all going to have attacks in different areas of our lives at different points in time that is absolutely inevitable because attacks come for many different reasons, right? But the Lord confirmed that there is a heightened level of attacks. There is a more intense cycle of attacks that has recently manifested in the lives of his people. And these attacks are so aggressive people of God that there are marriages that are ending after 10 years, after 20 years, right? After 30 years of being together. And because of this, God wanted me to sound the alarm in this video for the body of Christ to pray without ceasing, to keep our eyes open to the weapons that have been executed from the kingdom of darkness against the specific relationship that we're referring to today, which is marriages in this hour. But before I share the word of the Lord with you all today, the Lord wants me to give this disclaimer. He says, this word is not for all marriages. The Lord says this word is only for his sons and daughters that believe or that know that they are in kingdom marriages, but your marriage appears to be in trouble at the moment. Let me repeat that. The Lord says this word is not for every single person that watches this video and you're married. God says that this is for kingdom marriages, meaning that you know and you believe that God is the one that ordained your marriage, but your marriage appears at this moment in time, in this hour, to be in trouble. Now somebody says, well, Shanika, what is a kingdom marriage? Well, I can refer you to Ephesians chapter five, verses 22, all the way through 30 something. Okay. The scriptures define a kingdom marriage as being a union between a man and a woman, and they commit themselves to function as one. They commit themselves to function as a union and they also operate. They do things together under the divine authority, okay, of God. And they attempt to replicate God's image and they, they work to expand God's kingdom. That is what a kingdom marriage is. Now you all know my stance. Don't come to me about this word. God instructs me to send you back to him, okay? It is your responsibility to go to the Father and get clarification concerning this word, whether it is something that you need to receive or reject. Also, you guys know, according to 1 John chapter 4, what? We are required to test the spirit behind every prophetic message. I even have a video in the description box that will help to give you some tips on how to go to God about this word. Amen. So first people of God, I want to share my visions and then I'm going to go ahead and release the word of the Lord. With the first vision, people of God, the Lord revealed to me the attacks that are happening in the minds of the husband or the wife. And these attacks look like lies. They look like thoughts that Satan is planting in the mind of the husband or the wife. And these thoughts are false. They are not true. And these thoughts have been accumulating in their minds over a period of time. And they come from internal conflict and outside influences. God was showing me friends, family members, or maybe even social media. And the Lord further showed me that these thoughts are leading the husbands and wives to perceive their spouse in a negative connotation. These thoughts are leading the husband and the wives to perceive their spouses in ways that paint false narratives, right? Of their relationships. 
And as a result, the husband or wife feels it necessary to end their marriage or work towards ending their marriage because the relationship doesn't match what the enemy has planted in their mind. The relationship doesn't match what the friend said. The relationship doesn't match what that family member said. The relationship doesn't match what social media says a marriage is supposed to look like. The second vision, people of God, that I had concerning marriages were certain circumstances and instances or experiences that were resurfacing from the past. And these circumstances are from before the couple was married. And whether it's on the husband's side or the wife's side, I saw old relationships, I saw old habits, old addictions and old debts suddenly popping up, suddenly appearing that were hidden for months, for years. And these were incurred prior to marriage. I saw that these situations were not handled properly. They were not resolved. And as a result, the marriage, the union is being attacked because of these unresolved things that are coming up. One other vision that I had people of God concerning marriage is the exposure of deception as it relates to the spiritual posture of the husband or the wife. I saw a look of surprise or a sort of a dumbfounded kind of reaction when the wife or the husband discovered that their spouses were never really evenly yoked with them. And the reason is, is because the spouse lied about their level of commitment in their relationship with God. The spouse lied about their commitment to the Lord in order to marry. And as a result, there is tension, there is animosity, there are arguments, there's bickering in the marriage because of this deception. So people of God, these are the visions of insight that the Lord gave me. Now that you have a foundation of what's going on and how this word transpired in my spirit, I am now going to release the word of the Lord. God says to listen carefully, beloved, and hear the word of the Lord. My beloved, in this hour, there is a spirit of death that has been executed from the kingdom of darkness to try and destroy relationships. And Satan has plotted the demise of marriages that I, the Lord your God, have ordained. And the purpose is to utterly destroy what I intended for your marriage, says the Lord. But I ask that you hear the word of the Lord today and know that what was meant for evil, I will turn it around for your good, says the Lord. And I will turn your marriages into kingdom marriages as I originally intended, says God. Now that you have heard this today, I want to warn my sons and daughters to pay attention to the consistencies and the patterns of tension, animosity, arguments in your union, says the Lord. Many of you are being deceived by Satan, the father of lies, the evil one, where his only intent is to kill, steal, and destroy, says the Lord. For some of you, your troubles are as a result of what you have allowed to saturate into your spirits, such as the lies, such as idols, insinuations, hidden anger, hidden envy, and hidden unhealthy jealousy, hidden animosity or fear, says the Lord. And as a result, your relationship, your marriages are now in a disarray, says God. And for others, your troubles are intentionally being allowed by me, the Lord, your God, for the purpose of realigning your heart's postures so that I can stabilize your union. God says your troubles are not with your spouse, but against Satan who wants you to believe that your husband or your wife is the problem. God says, what does my word say? Your fight is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, 
against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. My sons and daughters, my purpose for your marriage is not intended to only make you happy, but it is for you to replicate my image, the image of your Lord, your God, and to take dominion in the earth, says the Lord. And the benefits that I ordain for your marriage are to give you a rich and fulfilling life that does not guarantee exemptions from opposition in your relationship, but it does give you an opportunity to be rewarded in the areas of growth and being able to give and receive and love and being able to experience some of the desires of your hearts and to embrace unity in your marriage, says the Lord. Therefore, my beloved, if my words resonate in your spirits and you see the trouble that I have spoken to you today in your marriage, I, the Lord, your God, am holding you accountable to seek my counsel. The Lord says to repeat that again. He says, my beloved, if the words that I am speaking to you today resonate in your spirit, they are familiar to you and you see trouble in your marriage. I am holding you accountable to seek my counsel today, says the Lord. If you believe that my purpose for your union is true, if you want to make the most out of your relationship, and if you are willing to follow my plan for your marriage, then my plan is to answer you and turn your marriage into a kingdom marriage, says the Lord. God says to repeat that again. God says, if you are willing to follow my plan for your marriage, then my plan is to answer you and to turn your marriage into a kingdom marriage, says God. Take heed. This is my word to my beloved, says the living God. Wow. <laughs> so that is the word from the Lord today. People of God, I have nothing to add to this word, but to say how much we should love the Lord for how compassionate he is and how loving he is, so much so that he gives us guidance on how we should live and how we should proceed in the relationships that he has ordained us to be in. Listen, before I get off of here, let us say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you for your unsurmountable love. We thank you, Lord, that you love us more than we love our own selves. We thank you for your directives today, your warnings, your insight into those of our relationships that are in marriages, kingdom marriages, and we are having troubles. We pray, Lord God, that when we come to you to seek your counsel, that you will give us clear directions on what it is that we need to do to progress in our marriages, to meet each other halfway. Whatever you decide, Lord God, we will obey. Father, we thank you that you will never leave us nor forsake us. And Lord, my spirit perceives that there are many brothers and sisters that are watching today that are weary. It's not necessarily that it's a relationship or it is a marriage, but they're weary in well-doing for the kingdom, God. God. There is a heaviness in the kingdom, in the body of Christ. And Father, I just come into agreement as a sister. I come into agreement, Lord God, that you would dispatch the angels to minister to the church, Father God, to provide the relief that we need, Lord God, to help to refill our cups, Lord God, to give us some rest, to give us a period of peace, joy, and happiness, Lord God, as we are pursuing the assignments, Lord God, that you have given us in the kingdom. And Father, for those of us that are truly worn out, Father, I pray that you send your ministering angels to hold them up, Lord God. Show up in a supernatural way in their presence and give them personally, Lord, your peace and your love and your compassion. And Father, we just wanna give you all glory, honor, and praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, amen and amen. So people of God, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> if it's the Lord's will, I'll be back here soon to release another prophetic word. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. Listen, I want you all to have a blessed, blessed and blessed day, okay? I love you guys.
Bye.